What is up, everybody? I am here with Edmund McMillan for the interview on repentance. Um, I'm very happy to have you. Thank you so much for coming on. Happy to be here. You got a cool, a cool setup back there. <laughs> I like ripped up <laughs> everything. You should not look at the other room because it is just like I took everything that was over here and I just threw it. I was like last minute, like that's a yeah. I understand. It makes sense. Streamers probably have literal trash just out of the frame. It's like yep. that's the only yep. thing that, that matters is that that shot there. Yep. A little bit lower, you'd see all my piss buckets. Yeah. You know, it's easier to hit a bucket than it is a bottle, so it's whatever, you know, dealer's yeah. choice. Uh, you just I moved, know. right? I'm moving. Moving. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is the temporary space that we've been in for the past six months. It has not been ideal. It was a hasty move due to the fires in California, and it was one of the only okay. places that I had to rent. Um, there's, a, it's got a bit of an ant problem and, uh, it's, it's, it's a cold, uninsulated, very, very, very small place. This is, it's, it's the, the extent of it is like where I can reach. Yeah. You said it was a um, uh, move due to the fires. Yeah. In California. Okay. Uh, in, uh, in fall, there were like major fires and yeah. we had, we had to evacuate and we were actually living up in the forest on a, the top, on the very top of a, of a hill. That was a one way, one in one way in, one way out road that wound all the way up this hill. Okay. And it was covered in forest and trees would fall constantly. And during the fires, multiple trees, because it, it was started by a lightning storm, um, which we saw, which was insane. Uh, a bunch of trees fell and we were stuck in the house while the fires were going and we couldn't even get out. Oh man. Um, it, it took it took a few days from the fires to actually get close enough to, for us to be evacuated. Yeah. Um and they got it out by then, but like I instantly sold that place. I put it put it up for sale right then. When we we went we went to a hotel, uh we were there stuck there for a week and um our uh newest baby minnow is uh was born and she was just a week old and she was very early too. She mm -hmm. was very little and we had to get the fuck out of there and go into a hotel and she spent you know the, the the second week of her life in a hotel and we sold that place as soon as possible and then in doing so um we uh needed a place to stay and we just there's not meant much to rent here and we didn't yeah. have many options so we got this place and now it's 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 <laughs> moving constantly <laughs> moving constantly and hastily is very freaking horrible um, uh, it's been a very stressful situation and for whatever reason, I was like, let's move. And then didn't think that I'm also releasing a game. Yeah. Pretty hectic time <laughs> for you. <laughs> it is, but it's, I mean, it's, you know, I'm dealing, I'm dealing. I mean, it's nice to, uh, you know, um, I, I put all the rest of the family is at the new house, mm -hmm. so I'm all alone. So there's not like screaming and <laughs> peaches and trying to kill her sister and well, maybe she great. is, but not in front of you. Mm hmm. <laughs> not a side out of mind. Danielle's problem. Yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> right now, yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully, she's okay. At least I that place. Turn my, I should probably turn my phone on, actually, uh, just in case. You reminded me. Okay. Now, at least I'll, I'll at least feel something if somebody messages me. At least you have a but mini yeah. trampoline, though. You know, that's always a benefit. <laughs> I do. Yeah. It's one of the remaining items. This is called uh, when you have a hyperactive child. Ooh. It's good to have a trampoline yep. in like every yep. room of the house because that does help. Here, I was imagining you doing like the trampoline, you know, old school. Was that 80s <laughs> workout? I don't know if I could do that. I mean, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I would go through this thing, but. New Isaac item? No? The trampoline? I never owned a trampoline when I was little. Like, I probably would have helped though because I was very hyper. <laughs> I hear that you are kind of like nervous around game release dates. How are you feeling? You're kind of like busy with so many other things that this is kind of it's whatever or you're so used in to all, it. It's not it's not whatever, but in all honesty, this move is so stressful. It's so hard to sleep on top of everything mm -hmm. else. I know Vin's losing it. Um, I'm losing it internally. I'm pretty good at hiding my weakness, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but I'm yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm losing I'm losing my mind. But it's I've had much more horrible situations that I've been in. So mm -hmm. you know, well, I'm, are you I'm pretty I'm pretty tough. But yeah, I hope hopefully Vin and uh, everybody else involved. I mean, Vin's taking the brunt of it. I'm, Vin's stressed out for sure. He's worried, yeah. but he's you know he's a perfectionist, and 
he wants everything to be as good as possible and that's impossible to be perfect so yep well he's got to live up to your game too i mean i i know that you like most of your games it's been just kind of you doing your thing yeah and now he's like coming from a fan position i'm sure he feels extra stress about like i need to not only do this well but like he wants to obviously please you since he's a fan i guess like a, i guess i guess i guess so i mean i i think a lot of the stress comes from expectation for from he's he, so he's already he's from the, the the hardcore mod community and the mm -hmm. hardcore mod community are the most harsh fucking terrible people in the world <laughs> <laughs> they are so harsh they analyze everything and they will you know scoff at, at anything that they view as you know something that they could do better or you could do differently mm. and it's one of those hindsight situations where it's really easy to like after the fact chop something down and point out like i can literally you give me any fucking video game that exists right now and has ever existed the most perfect game i can make it better it's not hard it's <laughs> right, really right. easy to take something that's that exists and tweak and tune things and make it just a little bit better after experiencing it and you kind of got that going in the community um and obviously you know I'm, I'm exaggerating they're not horrible people but they are they are hardcore when it comes to expectations and I think because he comes from that kind of community, then he may be a little extra worried about it. But I shouldn't probably speak for him because he'll eventually be on here either way. Mm -hmm. uh, he yeah. can talk about his he can talk about his woes. Right. So chat, but, um, Nick and Vin will be joining later, we think. I mean, it's obviously up to their schedules and if it works out. But I think I've got I mean, I got pages and pages of stuff to ask. And I'm, I bet you we'll make it through about 20 percent of it. So <laughs> I got a little time. I got a little time. I mean, I'm not. I'm in no rush to jump back into moving. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. I'll cool. try to keep it distracted. I'll give you a reason. Sorry, Danielle. Can't. I'm way <laughs> too busy. Very, it's... very busy. Yes. Yes. Huts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Oots. Huts. Huts. Yeah. I. Huts. Uh, so speaking of Vin, by the way, one of the questions that I wanted to ask you was, um, your life is very busy obviously we just touched on that not only with the move not only with the pandemic you got two kids now you said your second's yeah. name is minnow right minnow she's named after guppy that's adorable we um, do call her Minnie, though it's just easier actually mostly what we call her is winnie she it, <laughs> it, the kind of like because my my first daughter's name isn't even peach her name is pj um <laughs> so it's like kind of like nicknames on top of nicknames uh -huh. um but uh yeah we call her we call her winnie <laughs> at this point but her name is Menno. she's paper. gonna have no idea when she grows up no they're gonna ask yeah. what's your name she's like she responds to uh minnie and winnie so that's good i was gonna ask you about kind of this handoff of isaac and not really handoff. I guess that maybe is is too extreme of a word. But you you were bringing in Vin and and others. Yeah. It's not the first time we've done. Uh, we, you've worked with modders, but you're bringing in Vin specifically, and he's doing a ton of work, as as you've been saying, right? He's just cranking away. How has that been to have it be like just your thing to bringing in Vin? Has that been a, a good situation? Has it been kind of nice to? Not have more time to not worry about it or are you worried about it even more so because i know that you have a very very personal touch with all of your games it's been tough to bring in somebody like Vin. i mean to some degree um everything i mean i i've taken this as a learning experience and the first time i kind of ventured into this kind of cooperative design um was with the end is nigh um with tyler and it's just one of those things where you, it, it, I think it's hard for me to trust somebody else completely enough to to, to allow stuff to happen. And I've um, definitely been guilty of being a pretty strict design Nazi and a ball hog when it comes to design in general. And um, uh, I'm trying to grow, you know, I'm trying to like, I'm trying really hard to be very, uh, um, diplomatic about things uh, you know I, not i even when i w even when i went into um to rebirth i struggled a little bit i remember tyrone telling me to um 
compliment the guys a little more. <laughs> 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 and um, it's, uh, yeah, I. It was hard for me to let go of things. Like it's hard for me to not have my hands in everything. And I went from doing all all the art, all the animation, all the story. All, I mean, everything except for programming. Um, I did it all, and it's not realistic anymore for me to continue to do. And I know I need to branch out and do X, Y, Z um, in order to function and continue to make games. And with Vin, um, I did it as smart as I could. I tested the waters first. I worked with him on booster packs. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to see his understanding of stuff. It appeared like he had a really good understanding of my work and my aesthetic in a way that I have not seen in most, and there's a lot of modders out there, but there's some people, there's just something, there's an unspoken, I don't know what it is. There's a touch, there's a, certain lines that are drawn in the sand that I don't cross. Mm. And it's hard for a lot of people to understand where those invisible lines are because they're never really defined. And Vin seemed to be treading so, one sec, I'm getting a call and I'm worried now. Uh oh. It's gonna burst. One second. Take your time. Danielle found a mouse. <laughs> oh no. At the new place? Um, yeah. I oh. mean, it, 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 uh, it's not a bad mouse situation. I think it, it was, there's boxes from the garage and the garage mm. was left open for a while. Okay. Yep. And, uh, Makes sense. Don't bring them in. So we brought in a box and it looked like it had uh, mouse poop on it. Yep. So we shook it out and then in doing so a mouse flew out of it. So yeah, it's better than a fire. Awesome. <laughs> I got to move out of there. I got to move out of there. got to get out of there now. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, so when it comes to working with other people, I'm really trying my best to just be um, be more open to the changes that need to happen for me to continue to make games. Right. And I need to be able to lean on other people for stuff. And going in, like I said, like uh, it was very clear that Vin knew what he was doing. And I made sure of it, you know, working with him for a little while in booster packs. And then uh, originally, I think it was just going to be, hey, let's port your mod situation. And uh, and I had to translate those things. I, ha I had to make I had to make those things mine in some way. And I didn't have to do much because so many of the bosses were already referencing other things in the game that existed. There were a few new ones that were a little like mm, I might probably wouldn't have done this, but they were kind of cute, like <laughs> like the Ra like Rainmaker and oh yeah, and um, and in Siren. Well, Siren kind of fits the mold, but uh, there were a few oddballs like those spinning meats. Uh, I was going to bring those up specifically. <laughs> the meat those spinning spins meats aren't are... exactly uh, what I would do. Uh, are they? Did they make it in? They are in there. They they're are in there. They're, they're honestly, honestly, they're the only. They're the only enemy in the game that I'm like mm, meat. They don't have a face. You can't feel bad about killing those things. I mean, as far as um, it goes, when you look at it from the outside, it doesn't seem like it doesn't fit. <laughs> You know yeah, I, mean? I know. It's it, it it's it walks the line for sure. But um but yeah, it, it was just kind of like how can I translate this into my language completely? You know, it it kind of is um you know, what what would be uh, kind of like the spanglish version of of my my way of speaking, edlish. Right. Uh you know, it's it, it's it's basically there. And <laughs> um and uh, I just had to tweak and tune a few things and kind of uh take what was there and and try to reform it into something that made cohesive sense to the structure of the game and the themes and where the story would take it and all that sort of stuff. It wasn't that hard because a lot of it was already there. Um, but then, of course, in doing so, you know, it was it, it was exactly like like Rebirth. Rebirth was just supposed to be a straight up port of the Flash game, and it was like we could we could double this. We could yeah. double this in size, and you know, why not? So that's what we did. I'm happy Basically about it. Basically doubled it in size. I'm happy about it. Um, I Okay, so I don't know if there's any validity to this at all. And I figured I would just go out and ask. And by the way, I, I know that you don't need like my permission, but you have the right to say, I don't want to answer that to mm. anything that I ask. Um, I, I don't want to answer that. Go ahead. All right, stream's over. Thanks, guys, for coming. Um, I heard that there was potentially, when, when everything came out with... Afterbirth Plus and with um, 
the mod, anti-birth, right? Was there any bad blood between you and Vin? Absolutely not. Vin okay. can attest to this. Okay. I contacted him the day I played the game, and I think it might have been launch of the of the game. And I said, and I told him straight out, and he can vouch for this when he's mm -hmm. on stream. If you would have contacted me during the development of this, we would have done this. What we're doing now, yep. this would have been a, we would have made it official, like because right. it's so good. Um, and you know, all I cared about is I wanted to know who the fuck was the artist because we gotta <laughs> we gotta get this person in here because they're really good. You know, who was in charge of this whole thing? Because if this is all being put together by kind of one person, I want to talk to that person because they have a really good understanding of what I what I do and what I've done. Mm. Like there were so many subtle nods to previous things and design decisions that I felt were almost unique to to me. And I was pretty I was pretty wowed. So, yeah, straight up like, hey, let's uh, let's do something here. Right. Right. Um, I would I want to ask you, do you see that like this being the end of the Isaac lore? I know that you've talked and mentioned something about an Isaac, too. You said maybe years down the line. But as far as it goes right now, repentance is wrapping this up. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say that there's not much more that can be said after what we put into the game now. There's not much more. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, Isaac is not some linear story. It's kind of an abstract story that's being told from a bunch of weird angles. It's kind of abstract in the in the sense that like. Like in the cutscene where you see Isaac get into the chest um and he you know he see or he sees he sees himself in the mirror and stuff like that it's like there's certain things that happened in the past there's certain things that he's imagining there's you know it's, there's all this weird stuff like that breaks reality and walks the line of like is this supposed to be really happening you know there's specific things that are told while he in his drawings that in my mind made it obvious that this was a, he was telling a story here mm -hmm. and you know that's what the game was playing out and i don't know it, i'm 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 writing in a way that's interesting to me i'd like to think it's interesting to other people i'm writing in a way that i feel is more video game friendly because it's asking the player to put things together instead of just telling them what to think mm -hmm. um and i'm also writing about in the grand scheme of things i'm just writing about a situation and kind of writing about my childhood and writing about religion and those ideas are so loose that th I think the lack of stress, so a lot of the lack of structure probably rubs a few people the wrong way because they just want to an answer. They want us, you know, whatever else. But what I'm trying to give you guys is a pocket of time. Like it's not some character development mm -hmm. situation. Like right. it is a pocket of time. It's a situation and it, it is all an abstract idea exploring you know what it is to be a an outcast um in a broken family where and maybe possibly how organized religion can sometimes prey yep. on you know poor desperate people um and how a child who doesn't fit into the mold of what's considered good may be affected by organized religion Yep. Um, and that was the whole thing going in. Like that was that was the original idea. I think with with repentance, I get to explore that a little bit more. Um, and I think I think make the story a little bit more relatable. I think. But you know, that's just my weird opinion. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it's going to actually translate when when people play. But I think that. I think that I got to get more personal with this. Um, there are things that made me feel emotional, but because they were personal, probably. I don't know if that'll come through for other people, but we'll see. It's yeah. um, I'm super happy with it. I'm I'm very happy with the thematic direction. It felt dangerous at times in the way that the original Isaac did, where I was like, even Vin was like, yeah. "Is this gonna?" 
is this going to make it so we can't get on Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, don't worry. They're fine now. Back in the past, of course, no, nothing. They would not touch. They would not touch Isaac. There is right. no way in hell. Um, uh, but him just saying that made me really, really excited about it because it made me feel that feeling again of there when you're when you're an artist in general. And that's kind of changed today because of the whole, the whole cancellation situation. Um, but uh, you as an artist, there's this line that you want to walk, push, push the envelope. You, mm -hmm. It's important as an artist to be able to push it. You push it far enough to tread into new territory, but you don't go so far that people push you so far back. You're gone. Yep. Um, and for me as an artist, that's where the fun is. You know, I want to wiggle around that line. Like I want to dodge in and out of there. And um, I want to explore themes that, you know, people wouldn't definitely wouldn't explore in video games. Um, it's like <laughs> mention another game that would be any like mention, just take the uh, general idea of anything that I've said and pitch it to a video game company and say that, you know, this is the theme for the video game. And there's no fucking way like, yeah, you know, it's a, uh, but that's the whole fun. Like <laughs> I want to have fun doing this and to bring back some element of danger again into this equation that has been accepted by the community is really interesting to me and made it a lot more exciting, even though it happens fairly recently, like end of end of development, it was mm. the end of development decisions. You, you'd be amazed in how many really cool and interesting thematic and visual and audio decisions that we made that really like hit hard and make make me feel really good about everything awesome uh i'm first of all i'm surprised that i guess i'm not surprised you you clearly have like your set vision of what this game is but i gotta admit i mean the game seems like it's it's all over the place, right? You're like, oh, the meat spins don't actually fit in. But I mean, there's so many, <laughs> so many weird, there's so much weird shit in the game. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to, uh, I've said this before, t I think during the next Kickstarter, what I would love, I would love to do a stream. I mean, and maybe I could do it on stream with other people too. Like I would love for people to go down like Platinum God and tell me, show me an image, an image of the item, tell me the item and what the items clip you know in, in instructions are yep. or uh whatever info and then i will tell you where that comes from and why <laughs> like I, I i it's fun for me because there are every little bit and piece in the game is attached to something from me even if it's a fucking meme that i thought was funny yeah you know um it, it's it's such a, a collage of life uh and it's one of those things where if, you get you get so many inside jokes eventually they just become uh what's the word like non sequiturs or whatever they become nonsense to people and it becomes funny and interesting even though they don't know that there's actually something tied to what it actually is and binding of isaac is just riddled mm -hmm. riddled with that like i would say fucking 50 percent of the items are named after songs that i like you know what i mean <laughs> like it's it's like it, there's so many references to just things that i enjoy overall so uh it's 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 uh it's it, it makes it more fun for me too it makes it more personal makes me more involved and it, it you know gives me gives me joy to know that i'm like putting these little bits and pieces that maybe only i find funny or interesting that no one else will understand and they'll just think that's weird there's this weird like like i'm trying to get a good read on you and it seems like you obviously like you get nervous before the game launches you're excited you want as many people to experience that but at the same time you're putting so many like weird things in there that you it's like you almost you want you want to ride the line between you know what is good or what's not good or what's funny or not funny so hard that it's like where what angle are you coming at this from you know what i'm I mean? coming at purely selfish angle where I only care about how I feel about this <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean I think we know that's and, not you know, true and, but it's totally. true in the same way that like I only care about me because I only care about feeling good that other people enjoy it it's like I have standards and I feel good about those things and I'm, I'm enjoying the process like I am I'm not lying when I'm saying like 99% of me making video games is purely to make me make myself happy that's yeah. it like and 
you know, if I wasn't getting paid to do it, I think I would still be doing it. If it, maybe not video games, because video games are so long winded and cost money to do, but I would be doing something. I'd be doing something creative to express myself and have fun doing it. I really enjoy being creative and creating things that makes me really happy. And that's the primary reason I do it. Um, I love the after after effects of it. Like I love to see people play my work and I love to see how what they think. Um, but it does kind of go back to me doing it for myself where what I really enjoy is other people's interpretations on the things that I'm putting in because it gives me a better perspective of what I'm saying. Um, it gives me different perspective from, you know, it, it, it just, it, I don't know. I, I don't, it's hard to really like say, it's just one of those things where like you, you can paint a paint this painting and put it up in a, in a gallery somewhere and then be a uh, fly on the wall, listening to what people analyze it. And there could be truth in what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like I, in some way I like the indirect psycho analyzation of my work when people are experiencing it, it makes it interesting to me. I like to see what they put in to fill the gaps of, out of their own personal life. Um, and of course I like to see people squirm. I like to, <laughs> <laughs> I like to see the joy, the triumph and the, you know, the triumph over adversity. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, I, I, I love that aspect of video games and I am definitely going to be watching people stream this, you know, as everybody in that has been working on it, will be doing, um, Isaac is very streamable. Uh, I remember going in, analyzing that aspect of it, like what makes it so streamable. People ask me that all the time in interviews and Obviously, the replayability replay aspect of it is huge, but I think one of the key things that makes it easy to stream early is because there's so much insane weird shit in it. It's very easy to be funny. Yeah. It's like it's it's easy to make jokes about the things that are in the game and it's entertaining to see you fail um, as well as triumph. It's 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 equally um, fun for everybody watching. Uh, People love so, yeah, to watch uh, me fail. Hard. <laughs> I mean, watching people, it's not so much the failure. I mean, getting trolled is, is funny, especially when it's at your own hand and you know that you, you're taking that risk in doing so. But uh, watching watching people almost fail and succeed is even even better. Yep. And I know that's something that you strive for in your games is that like you want to just barely clinch out the win. Yeah, that's what feels the best. Like no one wants. It's it video games are a weird mix of art and business. I try to keep business out of it as much as possible because it really taints the experience because you, you run into these games that hold your hand through the process and they really rob you of take like, they don't take you seriously. Like they treat you like a child and I, it just seems so patronizing and yucky and such a weird business decision to get more money um and a lot of people frame it as a way of like well you're making it more accessible so more people could play and there's people who might want to experience your game that they can't because of xyz it's like i don't know those are pretty niche cases cases um i don't think that they you know I, i'm sure they pop up but you can't fix those things for those people and i'm the type of person who i want a very specific very tuned experience um and i am if if you can't go in and eventually get good enough to crush this game out of as more you experience it i have failed that's me i failed i failed as a teacher i failed as a designer and that's why one of the reasons that why i'm like pretty against uh a lot of the businessy decisions to make things extra accessible mm -hmm. um to get more people involved it's like i don't i'm trying to i'm i'm really going into the to the binding of isaac I, I i structure it in a way that starts out easy enough but doesn't patronize the players lets them replay um i keep things short small very very similar to super meat boy in the way that like i knew going in that I don't want, I don't want to run to be over 45 minutes to an hour long. You go, if you go two hours long, it's just going to feel yucky if you die so far into the game mm -hmm. and, you know, keep the trolley more crazy things kind of early so you can feel better about replaying. There's just a lot of complimentary things and a lot of unfolding difficulty 
that scales with your experience that um i put a lot of time and effort into and that's what i think more people should do it's right. just it, it, it's not that hard um than just making something where you can you can literally pay to win or <laughs> it's a pay to win item yeah <laughs> All right, so shall we jump into some repentance nitty gritty? Sure. So we talked about uh, the storyline a little bit. I want to know more about like anti birth at the alt floors. Is that something that is like you you folded pretty much every single thing from anti birth into the game? Pretty much, Plus yeah. More, um, way more. I mean, yeah. I, I think people have picked apart spoiler. People have picked apart the numbers, and you can clearly see that the content in there is is essentially twice as much as what Anti Birth has mm-hmm. or had. Um, but what was the question? <laughs> uh, specifically, I guess there is going to be like the mines. Um, what was there? There was downpour. There was the mines, and then there was the uh, mausoleum. Yeah. Are those three floors featured? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure we've spo- we spoiled all those things yeah well, i mean I, I i don't know who here does or okay, does yeah. not know no yeah e- e- everything so we're gonna cover all the whole everything i would say i would say very few i mean if you have a checklist i can go down but very few items and features from anti-birth didn't get ported over there are certain things that needed to be changed because they were you know repeat items um or just retuned a lot of bosses got heavily nerfed um Mm -hmm. because a lot of the bosses in anti-birth had way too many moves for you to kind of memorize um so a lot of those got kind of chopped back a bit there are some that i'm even experiencing now that i didn't know had moves (laughs) (laughs) that i've been playing for forever but um outside of that um i don't think i mean again like whenever we pull vin in here he he could answer that question a little more but i'm pretty sure i would say you know 95% 95% of everything is there. Okay. I wanted to ask Vin specifically too, um, if there's any chance of us getting like a director's cut, kind of like Vin and how he wanted it to be, or <laughs> how he originally, like, like every boss has 700 movesets. Like, I, I kind of want to, not, not to say that that'd be, you know, yeah. that it's bad that it's not in the game right now, but I'd it's be interested be lop- to see it. It's going to be lopsided. Um, uh, I can I can definitely tell you that D- Vin wouldn't rip his stuff out. He would just comment it out in code. So I'm pretty positive that the moves that are being removed from from certain late game bosses um, are all there. They're just you know turned off. Maybe he'll so, upload it as a mod to the. Maybe may like, would you want me to bring him in now? I mean, what do you what do you want to do? Uh we can like, now that we're in the nitty gritty. I mean, all right, let me um would work for me. Let me add. This, um, I'm, they may be watching, they may not, so this may catch them off guard. Okay. I've got... Okay. Where is he? I hope that my uh, my OBS stuff works as I just threw it together in Photoshop last minute, so... Let's hope. I feel like with Discord, it's all the place I don't where know the why windows I can't are. Add him on here. He says he's watching. I, for some reason, when I go to add, it he doesn't. What the fuck? Why wouldn't he come up? Oh, I know why. It's because I have his thing open and not yours. <laughs> all right, here he comes. Uh, there he is. There's Nick. I don't, I don't know if they have webcams, though, so you don't get excited. Oh. Hello. Whoa. There we are. <laughs> ben, Nick, how's it going? Hey, it's been a while. <laughs> I mean, I, no, it really has been a while. It's been like, what, four years? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Like, came out. Anti-birth. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy being here again after all this time. I was just. I still playing. remember watching. Go ahead, I sorry. still remember watching your streams when Nancy Burst just came out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was like the best thing ever. <laughs> I've been streaming Anti Birth. Uh, it was like two days ago, three days ago. 
because I wanted Tony to get a I've good comparison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how streamers that have that extra experience, if you're going to just blow through certain parts of the game, or if it's still going to be like, what the fuck's that? Right, <laughs> right. Um, uh, I was... yeah. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 go ahead. I was just asking uh, Ed about basically what was going to be added from Anti-Birth into the main game now. And we were talking about... Um, what was it? We were talking about the, the alt floors, and then Ed confirmed that all the alt floors are in there. We talked briefly about bosses and how potentially they, not potentially, he basically <laughs> said that they were scaled back, that you had way too many movesets, that um, it was maybe a little bit too intense. Maybe mm. you want to uh, touch on that? Do you, do you feel like uh, at some point in time, maybe we could get like a director's cut Kind of like a, a Vin remix where... Or it would be more like Eternal Edition. Exactly, exactly. Where we <laughs> could actually get all those move sets. I don't know about that. I mean, I've been thinking about that when you brought it up. And I'm not sure I would like to... I mean, like, the thing is, yes, I really do like bosses with tons of attacks. But I also agree with most of the changes that Ed is having me do. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I can understand that like some bosses don't actually feel as mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. with like, so many attacks, because sometimes the fight would just tur turn out to be like, way too confusing and not actually as fun as I thought it would be. Gotcha. It's not about fun, though. It's about pain, right? Well, pain is <laughs> nice, too. <laughs> That's what my viewers would I say. Do, <laughs> I, 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 I do think I do think Ed like sometimes goes a bit too far, having me like reduce uh, some of the attacks. Like there, there is there is an attack that I really really like, and Ed keeps insisting that I make it shoot less bullets, uh -huh. even though I personally think it's perfect as is. I, I know what you're and, talking about. <laughs> It's one of those things but, where we, when we have we have like quite a few testers um, and then we on my end, I have a couple testers and myself included. And um, when uh, all of them say that something is too hard, <laughs> <laughs> usually that's a red flag. Um, and obviously and when two and like I know exactly what to do and I still can't not take damage from it. There's my, there might be something up. I have gotten better at that attack, though. I have uh, finally figured out where just specifically to go but it's one of those things where it feels too specific to be a good design um mm -hmm. when certain other attacks are just like really difficult like like this one vin this spinning one that one's super difficult but i totally I, don't I, get hit i totally don't I, get I, hit I, any, at all see see that's the thing i think that was too hard <laughs> so, like, we've got these weird situations where like there is an attack that, see, that feels really easy to me and Ed thinks it's too hard mm. and then there's an attack where I'm like oh maybe this is too much and Ed tells me no that, that's perfect there, I, have, there have been times there are <laughs> few there have been times where I'm like let's make it harder Finn <laughs> <laughs> and he says and what like, and I'm like who are you I still do uh, think that we should do that in hard mode for the thing to make it harder. I think it's worth doing. Harder oh, yeah. mode. Hard, harder. harder mode when? <laughs> Hard, <laughs> hardest mode. Uh huh. I want to uh, see like an Ed mode. Ed mode. Yeah, I know that Ed I loves the chaos, right? <laughs> I want to see a mode that's like an Ed mode and, for example, the, the doors would lock until you take all unknown pills in the room. <laughs> right, that that, oh. that kind of stuff. Oh man, I wish I could tell you things. Curse of the blind, every single every time, because you have to take the item. That's a good curse. I love curse of the blind. That's a good curse. That's legit. It's not like I, I mean, the curse of darkness is the only fun one that I have issue with, quite honestly, because it's like sometimes it's a feel bad for people who just have different monitor display. Yep. Um, but uh, Vin oh. fixed a lot of that, so. Oh, good. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. tough for me Curse as a streamer. Is like, oh. Go ahead. Have we Sorry. have we spoiled that retro visions also fixed? No, no. no let's not oh, talk no. about that one. Okay. I I really like it though. Well, I, we won't show it. I just want people to know. 
Well, there it's, you go. It's you, take your pills. Take your pills. <laughs> Get yeah. bad items. Don't be afraid. Don't I know. I, I know. I know plenty of people. I know plenty of people, even in my family. They don't take their pills. You know what happens? Arrested. <gasps> yeah, take that happens pills. in Isaac now. <laughs> it's, we made a mode where you just get fucking arrested. You don't take your pills. Yeah. It's like nuclear throne. Yeah, the plates come out of the walls. Yeah. Yeah. They just teleport straight into your room. It's nuts. <laughs> I have a, okay, so I have a crazy idea, and then, and you guys are not in the idea phase. I get. We're that. not adding a cum item. You're not. We're not no. doing it. Well, then no. I can rip out about three different pages from this. <laughs> well, I got nothing more. I need that. Yeah. Um. How, uh, what do you think about this uh, in terms of this Ed mode that might or might not be a thing in the future? Curse is like oh, a, a okay. curse of the tower, right? You like curse of the tower, or you think it has its use? Most people are saying I would never know. Like, get out of here. You say most people, you fucking people, man. You say most people. <laughs> you're mean, talking about you're talking about a sec select few people and or people that you've instructed to not take the item because you say it's bad. I, you, <laughs> it's a great item. Oh, it's it's a great item. I agree. Okay. Okay. I, so it is the perfect chaotic item that has an insanely powerful aspect to it and you guys play well enough to know that you don't need to take damage all the time right so you go take go in a room and take one damage from a boss half a heart of damage and you've killed that boss what are you complaining yeah. about okay so it's, it's your, different wait, though yeah, 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 yeah. designed to only right, fuck with you right. if you're a bad player okay oh. i have an example <laughs> here <laughs> okay i have a rebuttal now, I remember I was watching like a previous interview and you were talking about this exact thing about how some items are good and some items are not as good. And you had mentioned Monster Manual yeah. at one point in time. Like you could actually like that could help you. And I made the case for it. I was like, you know what, guys, I think that like Monster Manual, you know what? We don't give it credit. Like sometimes I won't even take it if I have an open <laughs> slot because it's just like I know there's going to be more and I don't really need it. I had an Eden run, I started with Monster Manual, and I was like, you know what, Ed says that everything has its use, and I'm really going to give it a shot here, and I think it's not as bad as we gave it credit for. Uh, I walk in, I'm very low health by the way, I walk into a room, I pop the book, it immediately gives me Bob's brain, as I'm firing, <laughs> blows up the magnet in front of me, I'm dead. And I was just like, I, I screamed, I was like, Ed! <laughs> Never again! Like it is different though. Imagine, as a streamer, imagine. yeah, it's 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 so funny to be running into these things um, when it comes to this sort of situation of like not wanting it, when an item has a, a random effect, and some of those random effects might be major risk reward items yeah. that could come unexpectedly. It's like you know there are there are a lot of situations like that in the game you guys have just perfected knowing when those things happen and to avoid them and this is a complete random roll so people just don't don't use those things well, i don't um, need to take the risk most of the time right it's yeah but you're doing this aren't you you're are you talking about an eden streak that was thankfully like, not an eden streak an eden i would streak. have been you would not have used smiling the, the right now manual. yeah yeah probably not um yeah no uh i uh i think it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the fact that you just had that conversation with me and it was funny in itself that was a good stream it's an experience I'm glad yeah. that you're enjoying that, the story a, that is a win that is a win everybody everybody I'm sure in the, the chat they're, they're like yeah that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, the yeah that's that's a win-win Huts that this is this is this is good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, I want to yeah. say good television this is good television here it's good television. I'm telling well, you, my pain. Yeah. yeah. My pain is chat's gain. <laughs> there you go. I've I, seen uh, people get kicked in the balls repeatedly, <laughs> and that's a that's a successful stream. This is this isn't even close, but it's it's definitely it's definitely there. I'll have to try that. I'll have to try that. I have a question that I think uh, Nick you could answer. Uh-huh. About the item rooms on the alt floors. I remember, if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. Vin, there were two items on the alt floors, probably because the alt floors were more difficult. Two uh, item, item rooms? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so Nick, is that 
something that we can expect to see in the game, or is that was that taken out? Um, You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. Uh, yes and no. Let's just say. That. I'll just say you're gonna love it. Yeah. That's enough. <laughs> I don't think that's I enough. Know, I, like. I, pers I personally know some people who are going to hate it, but that's okay. <laughs> oh yeah. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. And then uh, top secret rooms. I know that you touched on this on a different stream. You were saying that the rarity has been altered. Is there anything more that you could say about a that? A lot of special rooms, actually. Okay, because I gotta say, top secret rooms are heartbreaking, right? Because it's like they're either the mm -hmm. coolest thing ever or they just are the worst. And you have one Isn't bomb. There, just, there was like one one room that was really the worst, though, right? The one black poop room. <laughs> that one <laughs> that shows that up every time. About? I'm pretty sure that was a bug. Uh, I don't. I didn't intentionally make that like that. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, so usually when I make levels, and correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, Nick. But I'm pretty sure this is what happened. When I make levels, I copy existing levels and then I then I chop them up um, and re reorganize them. And I think I took a level that it was that existed already and in a different format, um, and then didn't edit it, and it ended up in the pool. I think that's what happened. So what was that, it supposed that, to be? It, I think it was supposed to be a, um, a, possibly a sacrifice room. Okay. That's strange. Because doesn't it have a what spike in the middle of it? Was, or no? It's guarded by spikes. There's a poop in the middle. There's like a cross of, of I have no fucking clue what it could have been, but I, I definitely wouldn't have it, put it in unless I was really feeling feisty. It's probably the Godhead room. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed to be Godhead, but instead it was yeah. a black poop. Probably. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I it don't. Sometimes I don't remember. It just doesn't fit as a secret room, so I. I just don't think I would have done that, and I feel like it must have been a mistake, on my part, um, and uh, it must have been me copying. And I mean, if 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 uh, Nick wants to go through and look around that area and see if there's another room identical to it in a different pool, that would be the culprit. If not, maybe I just was like, you there know, is what? a sacrifice room that is similar to it. It has like, it's kind of surrounded by pits, but not really. And there's a spike in the center, except that it doesn't have the other spikes surrounded by it. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm, yeah, I feel like I referenced that room if, if I remember correctly. I mean, there weren't like yeah. a, an amazing ton of rooms at that point. So I, I don't, yeah. I mean, Whoops. I kept it anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's great now. <laughs> it's yeah. Classic. Hey, it's, uh, the thing is, <laughs> I played the game just like uh, I just played the game casually every day, mm -hmm. like repentance at least. It's and a casual eight hours. I'm not. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't have that kind of patience. Mm -hmm. But it's just like I just played the game normally, like a normal person. I don't even I don't have like the god skills that Vin has, or like the design skills of Ed. I just kind mm -hmm. of play it, and then I'm like. You know what? This is bothering me. This takes forever to like go around this thing, and this shows up too much. How heavy is this room, by the way? Mm. <laughs> just knock it down some. Yeah. Nick, Nick is selling himself short though. He's got you. You will be impressed. Like, I, I didn't play a ton of of, of Anti Birth. I mostly like picked through it um, and watched videos. But this, a lot of the new new. A lot of the new, new rooms, especially large ones, are pretty impressive design-wise. There have been a lot of moments where I'm like, I'm really proud of Nick on this one. Like, this is impressive. This isn't something that I would have thought to do. And it's it works really well with the game's design. And there's a lot of really clever moments that reward players who have played the game for a long time. Um, yeah. like, and other puzzles? players would just see it as like, in a way, you could say, you, you, could, you could say that there are... There's more random factor in, in reward, um, that's for sure. There's more chances of interesting things depending on your resource management. And there's a lot of new explorations with new mechanics that are introduced in the alternate path areas Yeah, that are just really, I, really cool. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say. It, had it not been for Vin coming up with a bunch of the ideas for like room layouts and gimmicks, I wouldn't have made all those rooms. The only thing I did is kind of think about how to use these things. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. I'm done talking now. No, no, this is all. This is good. This is good stuff. Um, I have questions on Bethany. 
So we've seen Bethany a little bit. Um, I've seen a lot of synergies with her fires. Is that something that you guys can touch on? I think the, the most recent one that I saw was that the fires were farting, I think. <laughs> There's definitely more than two synergies. Okay. Yeah, definitely yeah, more than two. Myself with my own eyes. Yeah. More than two. I'm going to write that yeah. down. Thanks. Really helpful. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, more than two eyes. You got to you put a two and then you put a plus. Mm. Two plus two, synergies. Two plus synergies. I, we can do that for all the features. I yeah. couldn't help. Couldn't help but notice, but the uh, I think you said something like 17 total playable characters, but there was a plus next to it. I that was wouldn't, my mistake. Wouldn't be doing my, my job mistake. I, if I didn't I was ask trying to what do the plus equals. was. Uh -huh. I was trying to do uh -huh. an equals. All right. Or no, I was hitting backspace. No, we were just making fun. <laughs> we were just making fun of Ed putting a plus in front of every number. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. know what's really stupid as a designer? You know what I found was really stupid. Putting pluses at the end of the numbers. Yeah. What? Well, that <laughs> put, a, put a plus, put a plus at the end of, um, put a plus at the end of the name of something. So I called four souls, four souls, the expansion, four souls plus. It doesn't translate. You, if you say, Hey, check out four, four souls plus, plus whatever, what? it, it, it looks like that. It looks like it's, you're trying to add the things together. So I like, didn't put a space after it and it still looks terrible. And it was just an idea where I wanted to call it four souls plus, but I wanted the plus to look like a cross. Stupid idea. Stupid idea. Now nobody terrible. knows that there's even a damn mini expansion to the, for the game because they think I'm talking about pl plus whatever else I'm talking about. Yep. I can never <laughs> fix it. Can't search the goddamn thing either. It's stupid. <laughs> So don't don't use those pluses. All right, all no right. more pluses, just minuses. Everything from now on is just negative. <laughs> we're them. nerfing everything. Minus. Yeah. Definitely if you mess up this. horrible enough, they take away a character. We're, we're taking away items. <laughs> we're taking away playable characters. Well, you can have Maggie. Sounds, sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Um, Maggie's Maggie's fucking cool. Maggie, yeah, Maggie's... super cool. I just love playing her. You? Yeah. I'm really enthusiastic about. Being slow. <laughs> but I think, she have health? I she think does start that, with the pill now, though. Yeah, I think Maggie's buff is substantial. And I think that the speed. there's more than enough in the game that lets you use her as a use her life as a resource. That's true. I'll say that. Speaking of yeah. speaking of, you said something. It's not spoilers because no, you already I said didn't. it. You already said no, it, I didn't. that devil deals are going to be somehow reworked and there Vince might be whoever said it, whoever said it, there might be something like it um, relies on a percentage now of your health. I think is what I, I Wait, heard. Did we say that? No, I, no one's, <laughs> nobody said Whoa. that. I just put a plus. So it was a plus. Was I put. A plus? That's all. All Ed does is put pluses in front of. All I do is put. I just did it with an accident. I slipped. I slipped on the keyboard. All right, chat. That's definitely not going to be a thing. I don't. Know the no, I really don't know what the hell they're talking about. Well, well where devil deals reworked? Now. Devil. Of course, devil deals have been reworked. Where devil deals okay. get reworked in every expansion. Is there um, something to do with um, not set prices or? something along those lines i don't know where you're getting this information somebody i, I, I wrote it it's right here i think it, may, it was during Wait, you Victus. think you're just gonna walk in there's gonna be a big question mark there's gonna be a plus there's gonna be a plus yeah, yeah. yeah. health plus you don't know no i don't yeah i don't think you need to worry about devil deals you guys are fine yeah, all right they're fine all right those angel rock deals solid. you gotta worry about it's rock solid those La angel deals. i can't get through i can't get through the walls he's putting up uh, let's see here. Reasons, better reasons to go to Boss Rush, Hush, and Delirium. More than just for the marks. Is that any kind of... I've talked of... about this before. You're not supposed to. <laughs> it's, oh, you're not yeah. supposed to play the game how all you guys I, are playing it. Um, I mean, you get to flex on the game. Isn't that enough of an incentive? Yeah, be a fucking... Be a hero, right? Huts, <laughs> be a hero. I mean, that's why I show, would go, right? Show, is to show all off. you have to do is say, hey, look, everybody, everybody else is pussying out and they're doing the easy track look at me i'm a man my mustache look at how big it is look at how huge <laughs> my mustache is i'm a man here i go and then you just waltz right into boss rush destroy and then you mm -hmm. just take it to the delirium 
That's exactly. And then you that just sounds just like it. me. You just do it. You just do it. That was impressive. Yeah, you you are impressive. I'm I'm gonna see it. It's, <laughs> it's you're gonna you're gonna stomp your way through this. Show I, the other streamers. Show them the size of your balls when it comes to walking <laughs> in and doing these things. I think that might be against the, the terms of service, but you could describe. Oh yeah, you can't even describe your balls anymore on this platform. <laughs> I'm a little nervous right now. What are we going to do with There's no Twitch admins in chat, is there? <laughs> I didn't describe it. Is, are we describing a new item in the game? I'm talking about... Um, Hots' is big balls. <laughs> yeah. Let's add it. So, yeah. This is, at this point, you take... you take, Yeah, mustache. You should check out the one on your balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What a great stream. I'm talking about not anything other than the thing that would get him in trouble, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Twitch. When we started the interview today, I did not think that my balls would be a topic. That is, is there's nowhere written in this book. And it, then, I, see, I see a drawing, though. Is well, that, not my, it's not my balls. Own. No, because you can't put that on Because they're way bigger than that. that. I mean, Don't right? draw that picture. Mine or yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where were where were we? Where are we? Um, something about hair. <laughs> uh, something about flexing. About uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. He said uh, something about why why you know what's the point of these bosses when I've already completed them? And you're correct. I, I'm, you I'm, have I'm, completed yeah. those bosses, but I have a feeling that people are gonna you know there maybe there's reasons to go there again. You never you never know. You'll have to go there and see, right? You got to check it out. Yeah. You got a few new characters, right? You got to do it. It's true. I will get have to those, go there. Get those marks. Get those unlocks, and enjoy yourself. I hope I that you know. Play, I I played I through do? three million, right? And I uploaded the journey. I don't just break the game. And I don't just do ridiculous things. Because I, I know that you think that it like it, it takes away a little bit for you. No, I don't care. I, it doesn't bother me how you play. Like, everybody plays differently. I'm just, you know, I'm just making it a good stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm the Bob's brain of this fucking stream, man. <laughs> Very powerful. Uh, difficulty. Can we talk about difficulty of the game? Do you feel like it is going to be more difficult? Because I know that anti-birth kicked my ass. It did. Oh, well. I will tell you right now that if, regardless, if we added a bunch of easy, if we added a path that was on the same difficulty level as the main path, as the alternate path, it would still be it would still kick, kick people's asses because you need to learn. You know, there's a certain mm -hmm, amount yeah. of times you need to defeat enemies and bosses and learn their patterns and learn how things go before they don't just completely destroy you. Right. Um, so of course the new content is going to be harder. Hard mode is going to be harder. And, but the thing is, is we also made it a lot of things easier. There's a lot of little changes, especially early game changes that I think are very appropriate and kind of, counteract the difficulty spike i think i think you'll have more consistently fun runs and feel good about them but they will be harder so they'll be more clutch kind of situations okay i like uh, that you know this is a this is a probability thing too it's like who fucking knows i say but we've narrowed it down more i know cons me i know from from me and watching my wife play that the runs are like, like Danielle will be like, oh man, I just barely got through there. It's like, that's a very, a way more common than it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and there's many reasons why. And uh, it's one of the aspects that I think that is greatly improved with the game. And uh, yeah, I think, I think you'll enjoy, I think you'll en enjoy it in the long run for sure. Could but we yeah, say, <laughs> could we say that, you know, someone's not anyone specific, but someone's Eden streak at this point in time could basically just be thrown out the window because it's I a totally new game, right? <laughs> I may have instructed. I think I think it would be smart for people doing Eden streaks to not do an Eden streak for a little while, make it make a new a new save, play off a new Steam file, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Experience the game. E yeah. 
I would say play the game. I would say stop streaking until you've, you know, unlocked oh, what yeah, the game has to offer and like dig in there and then go back to streaking. I'd say it's time to pause the streak. But you gotta start um, the streak over, right? Because it's a whole new ballpark. So you can't just you continue. Yeah, no, I'm, just, just hey, I'm not trying to guide out. you to a specific answer. I'm just <laughs> randomly asking um, questions. Uh, I think it's fair to put the streak on pause and continue. <laughs> but uh, I think it would feel pretty unfair in, in that rule set of, you know, what if, and I'm not saying that there is the situation happening, but what if, you know, during launch, what if you play, you know, an hour after launch, one in the morning, um, and th there's a, a bugged whatever, and there's some bugged combo that makes it so you can't shoot that we somehow missed, which mm, probably true. won't happen, but you know what I mean? Yep. And then it's like, what do you count? What don't you count? And it gets a little fuzzy. But overall, I think it wouldn't be smart to continue to streak unless you've got like the balls of an elephant, then you can. And then you just take it to the end. So it's a really a, a comparison. It's a size, a size comparison situation. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever thought about supporting Eden streaks inherently? Having like a counter built in, not just a wind counter, but we've talked about that. I don't, um, I don't know if it'll be implemented by launch, but we've talked about it. Cool. It's definitely. I mean, we. I. I went to great lengths of watching a, a lot of different streamers and the way people play like even dailies and stuff like that you, you want to be able to complement the way people play mm -hmm. and i'd say i'd say you've got i mean and you you're like a hodgepodge of all these things but you've got the the hardcore street streak people um you've got the casuals um you've got the break the game people um you've got the mod experience people um <clears throat> and what and i think there's one more that i'm somehow forgetting oh the the dailies you got the daily people so there's like five ways that people play for the most part and we try try our best to keep that in mind when designing this to make sure that we are giving a little bit here and a little bit there and whatever else but you know some things may appear later mm -hmm. cool. oh we got co-op now too so there's i'm sure True. there's gonna be a whole new oh yeah a whole new uh yeah, you definitely will. See. I'm, I'm, I'm sure streamers will be streaming that shit too. So, that's. I think that that's a really fun stream to watch. Four players a bit much, <laughs> but two players great. Does the game kind of balance itself if you add more people in, minus the whole? Um, you know, you can only have half the items. We, yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. Okay, cool. That's good to know. S surprisingly, I actually asked Vin. I'm like, oh, so did you reduce? tears and damage when another player joins in because that's what it felt like somehow um because i've been playing a lot with danielle and nope it's just that y you've got to share items so you're not going to be remotely as strong as you would be normally and there's a lot of cooperation you you get into situations where you're kind of drafting more often because you have a realistic view of what one person needs and what one person doesn't need i think it's really neat it's a whole new game. I mean, it really is like true co-op brings a whole new genre mm -hmm. to the Isaac verse, especially with streaming. And uh, I think people will really dig it and it'll be a fun, a fun watch. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, I had something on the tip of my tongue I was going to ask and I totally forgot. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about breaking the game. I know that... You guys probably aren't super... I don't know how, I guess, Vin and Nick, you feel about it, but uh, I know, Ed, you have your well. things to say about it. But, Blank Card Yera has been... Is, is no longer, right? That's been announced, Not correct? You, no. You have to do that differently. But I heard <laughs> something about there is a new item that's like the Blank Card for runes. Like a Blank Rune. I mean, thing? one would one would assume that uh, you know eventually, if you were trying to fill in all the gaps, there would be some sort of blank something for each thing that would yeah. appear. Okay, but but uh, I mean, blank he, confirmed. <laughs> the, blank the more blank. sassy Ed gets, the more he's actually trying to avoid saying yes. <laughs> what 
I supposed tell. to do at this point? It's like we, we've shown so much and everything else I can't speak of. So I got to make jokes about balls the whole time in order to like pad out the time. What, how much time we got here? All right. Balls mm -hmm. equals yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. How much time do you have, by the way? I can do another 20 minutes. Another 20 minutes. Okay. I've got 20 minutes worth of stuff, I think. Um, so... I, I'm actually, by the way, I'm excited that it's going to be nerfed, like the ability to break the game. Because I remember my start was watching Northern Lion, but from there I found Cobalt, and I remember watching him on the Flash Isaac <clears throat> game, breaking it. And I think it was specifically, um, what was it, Nun's Habit and Scapular. And I was so impressed with how he was able to wrap his mind around that, like a big chess game, right? I feel like breaking the game is a way that I can distinguish myself on the channel and and kind of show off this knowledge. I, I, I like it, but at the same time, when it becomes too easy, which I know that, Ed, I think I've heard you say multiple times before that you think it's too easy to break the game, I'm happy about the nerfs. So I just... I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I'm not trying to sit here and, uh, you know, <clears throat> tell you that I, I need a blank rune or something. I just... Yeah. yeah. The, it'll pressure. be interesting to watch and see, because I know for a fact that there are going to be... there. The people will find ways to exploit things that we didn't think of. Um, that just comes with the territory. And mm -hmm. I'd like to think that, for the most part, if those things... If those things are two items, then that's going to get taken away. If those things are three items, then we'll talk about it. And if it's four items, then it's fine. Um, but yeah, I think I th I've found myself. I haven't honestly intentionally tried to just break the game as much as possible because I've mostly been playtesting for difficulty and just trying to get through the game. Um, but I have been in situations where I've found mini breaks. So not like infinite, but major exploits where I'm able with four or five different items to generate a lot of something yep. um, and then really utilize those things as resources because I also happen to have this and this and this. So all the classics are there, but I feel like there's more interesting interaction um, that don't revolve around, you know, guaranteeing a battery, full battery spawn every time you reroll something or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, of course, like it's, uh, it's pretty cool. A lot, a lot, a lot of the, 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 the nerfs that channeled into buffs for lesser items, the lesser items kind of, some of them got pushed into mini break territory. Um, you had to work for it more. I've noticed the, the runs where I'm really trying to go hardcore end up going a lot longer than expected because I'm like really doing what you talked about. Like I'm doing math. Yep. And I'm like, wait, okay, so I've got this room here and I've got this much life. And I see on the map here that I've got hearts in this room, this room. I can get these, go here, buy this item. Then I can use that to exploit this thing over here. You know, yep. the usual Isaac stuff, it's it's just, it's there a little bit more um, and not so busted. Yeah. Um, along the same lines there, D20 on greed mode is not going to be a thing. Is that correct? I don't know. Vin? We haven't really touched greed mode that much. Uh, just give me a sec. It could have been a rumor. Maybe I, I don't remember where I heard it, but I remember something about maybe the D20 not even showing up in greed mode. I don't, rem I don't remember. Did we take it out? I, I feel like we might have taken it out at some point. I don't remember. That's we on it, Quite honestly, like greed mode has been the topic of conversation maybe twice mm -hmm. in in the past couple of years it was just like okay should we apply the hard mode the things that make hard mode harder apply that to greedier and then make greedier pay out more i don't even know if that happened i think it might still be on the list um we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get to it we'll get to it eventually yeah we, we've yeah. been we've been focusing mostly on the main game right yeah. now the meat and potatoes i mean it's a little little bits and pieces here but yeah meat and potato That's the mustache bad. and balls Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a side note, Ed mentioned earlier that he's the Bob's brain of this conversation. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to say that I'm the Taurus of the Taurus of this conversation because I just keep interrupting the main action. <laughs> <laughs>
I I don't have a problem with Taurus. It's it's very handy. It it has its moments. Thus. I mean, it's like uh, any any time that you can get invincibility with an orbital. I mean, it's like you're made in the shade. True. I think you're gonna dig a lot of the little changes. I mean, you're gonna have to pick up every item again, and then you know really see what's different because there are so many little subtle changes. There are so many changes that just came with with anti birth when it kind of came over. You know, like I had to be like, wait. Is this different? How is this different? Is this because it feels the same, but it feels a little different? And then I have mm. to like ask Finn what changed. Um, and it's a really like, oh, that's smart. And it's just, yeah, there's just a lot of a lot of new th new things to experience for sure. I have been impressed with your ability to take items that people don't like and give them some sort of secondary function. It's something that I had been asking for for a long time, like um, having three babies. And, and the transformation that you get with that, or, you know, picking up books. Like, there's just some books that, like, you're, you're not excited to see books ever until now. It's it's awesome to see the books. Can we expect... I know that you guys think that a lot of the transformations are too overpowered. I think you mentioned during Sinvicta's interview that why have it be a transformation when it could just be an item? Are we... Is there anything that we can expect as, as far as really, really bad items coming back full swing and... You know, give me motivation to take some of these items again. I definitely think you should pick up all the worst items again. Okay. Yep. Is that all of them. also, though, going side by side with don't do an Eden Strike right now? Because a lot of them <laughs> might actually be worse. Um, if you're, I, I, well, I'll just roll back to the, I think you should just play casually, mm -hmm. not streak <laughs> to experience these things. Because uh, quite honestly, you know, more than a handful of items have completely changed. Yep. Um, and uh, you got to relearn what they do. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, Bob's brain is the part that you don't like is has not changed. <laughs> it's just better. I, I want to know how it's better. You keep saying that. You keep saying that and I have no idea. <laughs> well, you'll, you you'll, fi you'll find out and then you'll be like, oh, OK, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Were there any um, transformations in anti-birth then? No, I, uh, well, I don't, I've already said it before, but I don't really like transformations. Yeah. I do have something in mind that is vaguely like a transformation, but it's not going to be there on release yet, but this is something I would like to do in the future. Yeah. Vin, Vin is really good at like, wouldn't it be cool details? Right. That are really <laughs> fucking cool. They I, are so cool. It's, it's hard to like say no. Mm -hmm. It's like, Okay, I have this really cool idea that is going to only happen, you know, once in a blue moon, and it's going to take a month. <laughs> it's like, a month? But it is, it's so cool. It's so cool. I'm super down with that kind of stuff. I, I, I wanted to ask specifically, Vin, I, we talked about it earlier. Are you going to continue modding for the game? Or are you like, now that you've been paid for it, you're like, I'm not going to do that free modding. stuff? I mean... It's not going to be the same anymore, is it? Like, how? why would I mod the game when I can just, you know, work make, on it? Make it yeah. official. And I'd say the same thing. I'd be like, why the f... No, Dom. How about we just pay him <laughs> to stay here? And then it would be better. <laughs> it Don't suggest that he goes rogue and doesn't make any money and then makes unofficial things. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, how about we keep the uh, account? I mean, usually when I have an idea for the game, it's something that I can it's... get Ed to agree with. But he so, has said no to a lot, right? He has said no to a few things, and usually I just agree with him, or I just come back like a few months later mm -hmm. and hope <laughs> he changes his mind. <laughs> he rewords it. There, there, have, there, honestly, there honestly have been a few times where he suggests something, and it totally sounds like a terrible idea or a waste of time, and then he'll come back and just word it differently and it'll make more sense. There have been times yeah. where he like kind of like sits me down and be like, like I feel like there's something lost in translation or something, and I didn't understand it the first time, and then when he re-explained it, then it makes more sense. <laughs> there's been times where he suggested stuff that I thought was a cool idea, but I didn't. I felt like it didn't work, that I then came back with design-wise and said, you know, you, this, this idea that you suggested inspired me to come up with this idea that I think we should try. So it's more of like a marriage of 
of ideas. Oh, it's just a marriage. Boy. It's just a marriage. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. We you didn't get any information about blank card. I should see your balls. Okay. Yeah. Both of the balls. marriage? No, yeah, yeah, we put them, <laughs> we wrap them around each other's finger. That's. The I think <laughs> he's writing his next game, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much stretchy. It's all, it's all, it's all f skin physics. If I don't get That's a, a game. Game. yeah, if we don't, game. if we don't get a ball themed game, game Ed, skin physics. If we don't oh, get shit, a ball I'm themed sorry. game, then I'm gonna be uh, disappointed. I'm, you know, why I'm happy that I've been talking about balls. I, I don't I know if I want to know. I can't say. I'm not I saying yes say, to that. I can't say, but I think Vin knows what I'm talking about. I think you will appreciate our balls. <laughs> That's the all. balls are pretty good. Yeah, I think they. I think they're great. They're scary. All they're right. Good. Okay. Substantial. I have questions, and I'm gonna just not ask them. I'm gonna <laughs> let that one go. This entire interview has just been Hutz being like, "I have additional questions." I think Hutz has been After glowing red for like 90 percent of this interview. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's. Is it getting hotter in here? <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> you guys have such a way to just derail me from my train of thought. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I've got, I've got, I feel like I've got a, um, a delirium shirt on right now. Look at this. That's it's Alex it really does. does. Look at that. Is it actually a delirium shirt? No. This is a Misfits shirt that was redrawn by Alex Party. It's, mm. um, it's cool, though, isn't it? That's pretty dope. Yeah. It is. So they quit. What is no come, no come item? What's the top item, you guys, that you did not update? That's gonna piss people off. Bob's brain. Oh, did. Well, no, he did, we did update, update it, it though. Oh, a little bit. Um, this is not spoilers. Read off. Read off Isn't a bunch it? of. Of are you talking about like? So you're talking about bad items that we didn't update? Like Anakin's cookbook or something like that. Like, like an item that's trash that's just still trash. That, that, it, not only is it fine, but it did actually get a buff. Anarchist cookbook. Yeah. Okay. That's sort good. <laughs> These are all sort of. You'll see yeah. what. <laughs> you'll see what. You, it's hard what to explain with it, like outside of context. Yeah, I know, but definitely. I mean, I actually think it's a substantial buff. Quite honestly, I, uh, yeah. Um, I, I've seen the, I've seen those numbers, but it's um, a one room recharge. Is that it? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. No. Actually, it goes off automatically. <laughs> read off, read off a bunch of bad items. And if, 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 um, if one comes, comes through that, like we didn't touch all, I will admittedly say that we no, it's the same. Well, every single time I list off one, we're just going to go off on a tangent for 12 minutes. No, I'm, just, balls, I'm, so I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. No, I, I don't have a list. I don't have the list. Cubed. When you're on the spot. Let me miss that. Tell me, tell me your, tell, tell me what, what item would you be disappointed if we didn't update? Holy water. That's a good one. for you. <laughs> Anything else? Mr. Boom. Kamikaze. Lemon mishap. Data mm -hmm. miner. Uh, Notched um... axe. Or right, that's the same thing, is it? <laughs> oh! Oh! E glass cannon. No, we, we know about glass cannon. <laughs> Able. Able! Okay, first of all, golden chest pool. Have we done anything about that? Because I feel like it's too small it and changed. Abel is everywhere. We changed you're gonna have it. To read, you're going to have to change all your all your Wikipedias out there. All it's right. going to be so changed. Everything's going to be... They're gonna, I wanna, Vin, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think they're going to edit the existing stuff everywhere? Or do you think they're going to have to make like a partition essentially and be like, here's a mirror of the whole Wikipedia, but then updated for repentance? At this point, they might have to. I think they would. Because, because they still got to keep it relevant for people who didn't buy it, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, you have not mentioned an item that I feel has, hasn't has been updated and um, people yeah. would be disappointed about. So, Cool. You um, got you to gotta get in there. I can't wait, honestly. I, 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 I really am. I'm so, so excited for Repentance. I mean, Beautiful. I might not look at, like it, but... This is going to be awesome. By the way, when does it officially come out? What What's the it, exact time? I think it's one second after midnight. Um, as on, I hate the way this is worded because it sounds like it's 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 on the thirty first. 
but the very very first, first second of, of the, the 31st. 31st okay that that yeah, is yeah very important it's a, mid, it's a midnight launch pacific standard time 1201 um, no not even a 1200 you know if, if fingers crossed you know like i've had launches that PST. you know don't come out exactly on the time because something needs to be verified by steam and we're trying to make sure the approval process goes through yep. early to make sure that happens that's actually not so much on our side of things it's kind of a necklace situation because it's 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 in the guts of steam yep um i'm that's the plan what's that's the plan are things looking good <laughs> are, yeah. are, are we are we i mean i'm not obviously a part of this but are you guys are you feeling ready or is this going to be like last minute you have a giant pile of things like me preparing for the interview uh, today i mean i'm <laughs> losing my mind but other than that we're doing pretty good on schedule it's a little um yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear, oh, hearing, noise, no? hearing squirming noises uh, from Nick. What's that, Nick? <laughs> Mostly. Vince, is a little, Vince is a little too harsh on himself because sometimes he'll like read people's like predictions and expectations, and then he'll feel uh, bad that he didn't like put them in. Yeah. Someone said. Someone said that there aren't enough enemies, and now I'm like, oh god, I knew it. I knew I it. We should have done more. Oh yeah, of course, of course. The reason that don't I was look, asking. Don't look at anything anybody says, Vin. I think you just You know, it. you know who you are. You know who you are. Fuck you. <laughs> You're making me. And is that is that the cause of today's breakdown? It was all like revolving around that. A little bit, but <laughs> it, I, I know, I, I know it'll be fine. I know it'll be fine. I, I know this will be good. Damn, Vin. Um, it'll yeah, be okay. I can't wait to see this come out. I will say, and once again, I think I said this early, and it's not, it's not that, it's not that every person in the community can can be poisonous in that way. I think a lot of people in the community, and I'm not saying this about the person who knows who they are, um, have a tendency to see things and feel like I could do it better, and if I was there, I would have done this. And it's very easy to do that when you're not there. That's it. It is like, really easy. I mean, I could do that way better. <laughs> you could have probably said that way better. You could have probably <laughs> reworded that perfectly. It's just one of those things. Like it's um, you don't don't nick pit no don't nitpick the specifics. <gasps> you nick look at pit. the big big mm -hmm. picture of things, um, because that's that's where it's at. And there's so much stuff like. The stats are out there. The stats are out there, right? Because we posted them. Those stats don't show what what more we're bringing to the table here, because you know, of course, we don't want to spoil some aspects of the game. Yeah. There is there is you don't don't nit, nitpick the details and judge the game off of a few numbers that are already substantially insane. By the way, whoever you are, I will fight you. How dare you do this to Vin? I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's fine really i'm just joking like i, I get that like everyone is excited and rightfully so it's just it's so hard to be like oh yeah like yeah we're doing great we're gonna live up to the hype i mean i, I think we will but you know deep down inside it's easy to think that we haven't done enough I but I think we've seen your work in action, Vin, and I think that, at least for me, I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to blow my mind. It's going to be awesome. And, it's, and it's as said, you're, you're a perfectionist, expansion. and yeah. By far. <laughs> like, it's, it's fantastic. My review <laughs> is 10, 10 out of 10. Oh, you're, too, you're too kind, Ed. Yeah. I'll post it. I'll post it online. And I'll say Vin is the most handsome boy. <laughs> oh come on! All right, just don't mention anything about his balls, though. Okay, that's, that's, I would, let's I would leave never that talk here. About his balls. I would never do that. Why mm -hmm. would I do that? Talk about his cubes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got massive cubes. <laughs> Code word. Yeah. Uh, we could wrap this up pretty soon, but I have a couple more. We can maybe do a rapid fire if we really want to. But one thing that I forgot to talk about is: is Azazel going to have? more synergies. I feel like Azazel for me, I don't want to ever play Azazel because the tiny laser ruins like 95% of everything else. 
Have you guys touched his mm -hmm. Azel at all? Oh, he has a cool one that I like a lot. He has a few, you can expect a few more. Okay. That's good to hear. Um, let's see here. This is going to be a question that's not, I don't really care about the answer, but there's going to be a riot if I don't ask it. <laughs> is console a priority at all in this update, this DLC expansion? What can we expect? Or console release or mobile or any oh, of the other console. platforms? Um, I mean, Nicholas's whole gig is porting console stuff. So that's, it's, it's, um, you know, like we put everything together, made the game and whatever else. Um, and of course, Nicholas is, has been testing and, and doing X, Y, Z, but the, the, the core of what they're going to be doing for this game is making sure it gets on as many consoles as possible. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that that will be the primary focus of Nicholas is making sure it releases on console. I can't say for sure when or what consoles, but my guess is as soon as possible and on the consoles that would sell the most copies, logically. Okay. Um, and the more, the better. Gotcha. Um, let's see here. How much do I have to pay you guys to put Greg the Egg into the game? Where does Greg the Egg come from? I've heard this so many times. Who's Greg the Egg? Greg the yeah, Egg co -op baby? is our Lord and Savior, if you've never heard of him. Um, <laughs> he is, is a it? wonderful being. Uh, I'm it's gonna look a, it up now. It's an item <laughs> that, it's like this little egg guy, right? He looks like Humpty Dumpty and he just kind of walks around. He looks so, like so derpy. Like guy? He's an egg and, and he'll, he'll break when he takes enough damage. So he blocks shots. He walks around randomly like sissy. Block shots, and then when he takes enough damage, he cracks, and a familiar spawns from him. A random familiar. Are you, are you talking about a mod item here? A mod item, yes. He's thinking about it, you guys. I'm looking I have up and my what checkbook it is. ready. Um, I hate Greg. You hate Greg? <laughs> I, actually, I never heard of him. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted uh, to be controversial. And yeah, I blocking. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm block. looking at. I'm looking at a lot of Greg the Egg images. You know how Sinveta is a sissy. Yeah, or Greg is my sissy. Oh, that's. Oh, I see. But um, but sissy's in the game. Right, which is why I'm <laughs> oh, paying yeah. you money. Right now. Yeah, but I made a I made sissy long legs. That was mine. I put that in and somebody else used it. You gotta you gotta find you should you should be the, the brain. You should be the, the Bobby the Bob brain. You change your name, change it all up. You can toss that whole egg situation and become the Bob Bob Mr. Bob Brain. Is that a new you could hold rebrand. Re you could rebrand your whole deal. Mr. Yeah, Bob Brain. Mr. Bob Brain. Yeah, just combine huts with Bob and you get Bob. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and every run you can mod, mod in an item where if you hit space bar, there's just like a 10% chance of instant death. And then you end your stream there. That's it. That sounds really good. It I just, I've get, been getting it so many good ideas that I need a bigger notebook from you guys. That's why they call me Mr. Idea Guy. Mr. Ball. That's what I'm here. I'm, I'm here for ball. I'm here for balls and brains. <laughs> Hashtag ball physics. I, here is an idea that I have for you, Ed. I know that you're looking to venture on to more things. From here, you're gonna give Isaac a break. Have you ever thought about doing AR games? Augmented reality? Of course I've thought of it. Um, if I, it, it, I'll give you my old man, jaded old man answer. My jaded old man answer is, I don't think there's much going on there yet. Yeah, and true. I don't think I don't think it's worthy of venturing into it. It's not exciting enough for me to to design around. Not that many people have the sets because they're so stupidly expensive. Yep. Um, and those two things make me very not interested in trying to invent something that would be cool to. Um, and it's not to say that nobody has done that because I'm sure there's. Well, I know there's like two things that people really love about VR games right now. Um, and uh, I'm sure those things are great, but it's very reminiscent still of the Nintendo Wii situation where Wii Sports did everything um, that you could do and yep. did it the best yep. and no one else came close. Yep. And I, I feel like 
There are enough developers and they've been developing for long enough at this point where you've seen the best there is. And that's it. Yep. And I am not too interested in doing anything with that. Did you ever see the Isaac virtual reality, the VR game, the little sample that uh, was made? I don't know if I did. I saw a, the only thing I've ever seen 3D is like was like a, a Team Fortress mod that looked pretty cool that somebody <laughs> put together. I think that was it. OK, because there was a there was a person that worked on this tiny little project where it's basically just Isaac in one room. And you got to hold Isaac with one controller and then he was able to shoot like with the trigger button, the tears. And it was just a room. I don't know that I don't think there's any enemies that he put in it, but there was poops and you could shoot the poops. And it just it like blew my mind. It looked so good. I'll look it up. I've never seen it. it somehow. I don't know how so good. I was like, ah, oh, gosh, I would pay for this to be a thing. Do you think I have something to do with Rick and Morty? I, I, I feel like I know Z? what this is. I Maybe? think he, he went by Z on, on Twitter. I'm oh, yeah, watching I, I a guy a... play it. I'm watching a guy play it, and he, he looks like you, but he doesn't have a really cool mustache, just a oh, beard. It's not me, then. Yeah. Wow. But the art looks interesting. It was really cool. It, it was really awesome. Very small, though. I think the, the person was just kind of firing around ideas and just trying to... Probably more practicing VR than anything else. But... <laughs> it looks so weird that you're like... Looks like you're, you're strangle holding Isaac and just <laughs> holding him up in the air. I make him twerk in the video. I don't know if you want to see that. Close your eyes now. It looks, I mean, the graphics look great, for sure. Um, just, that's just the ideas I'm throwing around. I know that you like to stir things up. <laughs> I have... I want to be, I would like to be done with this um, IP for a little while. Yeah, no, I know. I want to I wanna, I wanna be able to put it down. Of course. Oh my God, I'm seeing, I'm seeing another video recommended on here of somebody who looks like you with no facial hair. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, you can son. see why you can see why their views were lower than the other person's views. Ouch! I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting flamed. But, and, weirdly, though, I'm also getting complimented. Weirdly, getting complimented. I like this look. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. It's I, very, it's it's very red. I do have a very red beard. I actually, my beard gets pretty red too, but I'm getting a lot of gray in it, so it's it's muting the situation. But um, yeah, I think I think you look great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Strange interview. <laughs> uh, here is one last thought. If you ever do an Isaac 2, would you consider doing an Isaac themed D&D? I thought you were going to say Isaac 3. An Isaac 3 or 4. I mean, you got to keep me alive. You got to keep me Isaac alive, Ed. Please. D&D yeah. one shot. Gre getting all of the top Isaac players, right? The top four or five and doing an Isaac themed D&D one shot as a promotional thing for Isaac two. Think about it. I would be lying if that wasn't something at some point we explored when we were talking about board games. Um, Studio 71 or the people there were like a lot of popular IPs have done actually written one shot campaigns or at least whatever um mini mini bits and pieces mm -hmm. that have been semi-successful i do play D, D. i'm not as experienced as i'd like to be at the point where i would try to make something i've only been dming for a year well two years but a year where i couldn't dm so that doesn't really count um maybe some point down the road i could explore something like that i think i would be more interested in um doing something where I convert at least a hundred items into kind of spells. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I guess you could, you could pretty much re rework. No. Yeah. I could do this. I could totally do this. I could make a million tables that are based off of the game and then rework a shitload of mechanics in the game into these things. And you would have an interesting experience doing so. The whole role play aspect would be a little weird though, because how would you, you would all be role playing as, uh, uh, other variations of the same character. Well, the role play would be like a bit. Souls, right? Everyone's yeah, but you don't, no, you don't role play. No one's role playing in Four Souls. I mean, t on technically, this but I'm talking about real, real role play. Like, will you be like, 
I am the bind I am Isaac of the binding, and I will take my turn against you, Duke of Flies, and you know, do voices and all that stuff. Yeah. I don't foresee that being <laughs> so, what? Is that good enough that people will do that? Um Okay, then yeah, you have the somebody be Isaac, I somebody is Sissy, somebody is Bumbo, right? You can do that. <laughs> sure. I guess you Bumbo can. the Brave, he's the warrior of the group. Sure. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that sounds fun. That that definitely sounds fun. But it also sounds like, uh, I mean, it sounds a lot of fun, like a lot of fun. But I I don't don't get people excited about these things. Don't get me excited hey, about these I things. Just, I've got other things. I have I ideas. I'm an idea man. I got to get them out. You know, you know the feeling. <laughs> I do. <sighs> got to get them out. All right, we can wrap this thing up. Uh, it's been a lot longer than I thought I'd be able to keep you. So I really appreciate all of you guys showing up. Um, good, good talks. I mean, it was a lot of deflecting, but I think that, uh, we all know that that was kind of a good sign for some of the questions. So, I think I learned more than you guys wanted me to learn. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things I think it'd be, I think it'd be a lot more fun to come back in a few weeks and, mm -hmm. um, go over things because I think, uh, yeah, I think that'd be fun. I, it would be fun overall too, because like a, a lot of the time, um, this is something Vin and I haven't even talked about. Um, after you work really hard on something and you release, um, it can be a bit depressing. And people always, back in the day, I used to release games and every single time I would get close to releasing a big project, I would say, this time we're gonna have a party. This time we're gonna do something fun. And it never happens because you're so burnt out. Mm -hmm. And I think a good way to kind of celebrate would be to do more fun, fun streams and, uh, kind of celebrate and it maybe in that way. So it might be fun to venture back in here. If you, if you have time and, uh, we can uh, sh shoot talk more about balls, but in a more revealing way, we don't have to worry about ball spoilers. Anytime that you want to talk about balls said, you just hit me up. Not with pictures though. Yeah. Uh, I would love to have, balls. yeah, I'd love to have all you guys back on at any point in time. So just let me know. And like I said, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. No problem. Is this the last yeah. interview? Are you done after this or is there more to go? Um, I have, I mean, for streamers, I think that's it. That's all I, that's all I've got. Like I'm I like, literally I'm moving tonight and tomorrow. I won't have, I won't even have internet until late day, late in the day tomorrow. And then I think on Monday I have a phone interview with IGN. I don't even know who it is. Good and that's luck. it. Yeah. Appreciate you guys coming on. Like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, all the talk about going. Us. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, all the talk of like going to Hush and Delirium. It was a real tribute to strength, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I have nothing else yeah. to say. I ran out of words. I, it's <laughs> yeah, over yeah, I've gone crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't agree. I don't yeah, disagree yeah. with what you said. <laughs> I was. I right. was we're, before we leave, I was I was telling I was telling Hutz that um, Nick has an American accent, and I think it's so interesting because I, I no one no one on Earth would think that you weren't from here. Yeah, I'm from Serbia. Cool, yeah, dude. I, I didn't want to like, guess at that. Like uh, you have an accent, it, right? I it's kind of sometimes, but I just have like American one. Right. I just say hamburger. <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> I mean, in Serbian, you say hamburger. Yeah, see, you could. It, I feel like if you did your accent, it would seem like you were faking an accent. Yeah, that's exactly it. Vin, say hamburger. Uh, hamburger? That's not an American. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> uh oh. We should have ended this, uh, the interview about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> it's going to dark it's places. I should have had him say hamburger three years ago, and then I wouldn't have gotten myself into this mess. I'm an we American. We should have stopped and slammed the table talking about egg, Greg the Egg. I know. People are going to be talking about that for. I, I'm going to be a hot for still on the table. <laughs> Na name your price. It's a cute character. I'll give you that. Yeah. Cute. It's adorable. Saintly. It reminds me of Spelunky too. Was there what? 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 Wait, what? <laughs> what about Greg the Egg reminds you of Splunky too? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't want to spoil or anything. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, you know, he reminds me of something else that we also can't talk about in, in Repentance. Oh. Mm. Oh, Greg the Egg? Know. Does he remind you of himself there's, that you put in there? There's probably enough, enough that you don't know about that I could say that. And um, it's like saying the number 34. You know, I can say that a million times and people will come up with a thousand different ideas of what that means. That's so, yeah, great. there's some there's a very, there's a there's a big people, people who like Greg the Egg. Be on the lookout. <laughs> there was a little baby that was added that was like a Greg the Egg. I do remember that. I don't know the if that was specifically fetal, in reference since you'd had to look egg, it up. The yeah. Egg? Yep. Sure. Totally. All right, you guys. <laughs> 100%. Where can people find you if they want to know more or follow you in the future? I know Ed at Edmund McMillan on Twitter, correct? Yeah. You can find me at getting um, getting a, a, a deli sandwich at Zockley's in Santa Cruz, California, usually around one. That's the only oh, place doxed, I get spotted. Doxed. You heard it here first. Totally doxed. You you camp out there enough, you'll find me. <laughs> There's usually a guy in a vehicle that says Lenin murder, Lenin murder conspiracy on it. And he's got crazy propaganda about like the government killing John Lennon. And um, if you find him, you'll find me. Because it is you. <laughs> Don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> Vin, how about yeah, you? Yeah, I'm on, I'm on Twitter. Cool, where, how where can people me? find you? Yeah, how, how, how would we find uh, you? I'm not sure, actually. I mean, I'm usually on the Isaac Discord and on Twitter. I'm like, fix it, Vin. Fix it, Vin. At fix it, Vin on Twitter. Yeah. That's the best part. Because this is, this is what everyone tells me, so. Very. Yeah, that's, that's usually where I am, yeah. And Nick? Uh, I'm at Leather Ice Cream on Twitter and on YouTube. Awesome. Go I made an animation once where I made the Duke of Fly say I'm Duke and it w and everybody clapped. <laughs> <laughs> I was one of those people. Go look that great. up right now, everybody. All right. Thank you it's guys for coming out. out. Seriously, seriously look it up. It's great. Dark I think we just out. need to do look like up. a whole other stream where we just shoot the shit the whole time. That's, That's what, what we've been do. doing. That's yeah, pretty much what it was. There's people here for information, yeah, and they're like, good goodness gracious, like, talking about sandwiches well, and don't, balls. They don't need information anymore. <laughs> Game's coming out in a few days. You'll have That's fun true. playing it. That's true. What is it, three yeah. days from now? Is it? Is it? What is it? Three and some? Three and change? Uh, some, some. Yeah, three and we can get into that. We can probably get in an hour soon. Oh. Uh -huh. All right, I've you guys. A, yeah, Monday, Monday is the last mini post. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait. I apologize, chat, for completely ignoring you this entire time, but um, obviously for a good reason. This interview went very well. Um, I was very nervous, honestly, for it, and I'm just happy. I, I'm, I'm very happy that we were able to just shoot the shit. You guys are yeah. so yeah, chill. Right. It was fun. Definitely. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. I'm going yeah. to work on I'm gonna work on filling up those shells for you back there. These? Yeah. You know, uh, okay, so... I have all the characters so far, I believe, from the Four Souls thing, but my Azazel came with a broken stand. How do I... Did, did it come with a broken stand, or did you push a little too hard? I opened it on stream. Okay, and it was broken. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I, I flipped it over and the piece was in there, but then it fell right into my trash can. I couldn't find it. Oh, so you don't even have a stand? I have the stand, but the little tiny plastic nub that you're supposed to push Azazel on. Cracked. It broke. Yeah. You have both pieces though. I do. Is there an easy fix toothpick? Yeah. You just, what do you, you think? Can, you can super glue that thing like so so easy. Highly recommend super glue. Um, if not, um, I mean I don't have any azazels just like lying around. <laughs> but if I did and I had one, I would send you one. But I would recommend fixing it. And um, you know maybe you if I get your information, you'll find yourself on a list to get more stuff. I would love it. This is like most of the stuff. Besides, there's a lot of other custom stuff that people have sent me too, which is awesome. So yeah, the more the merrier, please. I will show it off with pride. All right, you guys. More. Don't forget to follow these guys at the places that I told you to follow them at. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for having us. Well, absolutely. Yeah, thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. I'm holding a thumbs up right now. Do I it bigger you. so we can see it. 
Do it harder. Right, I did oh, an even bigger one. I can hear it. <laughs> can oh, hear that it. was a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. You're going to make a mess. Oh. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate all of you. And I look forward to a, another call in the future if you guys are up for it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. All right. See you. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.